Hey, Scott. Malcolm, how you doing? Good, bro. Uh, congratulations on the show. Thank you. Thank I've you. only seen ep- episode one, but I feel like that's good that it keeps me in suspense. And I like uh, I like the fact, I don't know if this affects you as a writer, but I like the fact that w- this kind of goes back to the, you have to wait a week, the anticipation kind of builds up. Was that something that uh, that kind of, you know, spoke to you when you got on board that this was going to be something that was kind of classic in its way? Yeah, separately from Marvel, it's a thing I wish would come back to some degree because mm. it creates conversation about a show. But that was Kevin and Disney Plus and all those guys really being tortured about how they're going to release this stuff. And I think they also wanted something classic. Yeah, it's really, I, I like that. I like the fact that I have to wait. It reminds me of when I used to watch sort of 24 and the Sopranos and stuff like that, where you have to kind of wait yeah. rather than just being like, oh, I'll just jump back in and blitz it all in a couple of hours. Um, in terms of for you as a, as a writer, what, what kind of sold you on on the idea of, of jumping into the Marvel world? Because you've done some, obviously you did Empire and a few other TV stuff before. What, what was the lure for, for doing Marvel and doing one of their first kind of TV shows? Um, I'm a huge fan from the comic books through the MCU. And it was all the characters that they were talking about dealing with, particularly Sam and Bucky were exciting, but especially Sam, because it was an opportunity to dive into a black meaning, not African like um, T'Challa, a African-American superhero and him confronting something that wasn't going to be an easy choice to make at all. Yeah, and I, I, one of the things that uh, I spoke to your director about was that the show is, you know, obviously it's Marvel and there's a lot of action, all that kind of stuff, but it's a very kind of reflective show. And it's a show that we we haven't really seen much of these characters outside of kind of the, the bubble of, of fighting aliens and fighting bad guys. And it's a, I guess it must have been great to kind of delve into their backstories a little bit more because we don't know a huge amount about either of them, really, apart from what we've been shown. Yeah, it was great because they've been dropped into movies and into fights for 10 years now. And all the first, all the last generation of Marvel characters got gradually built up throughout the cinematic universe into real people. But that took a decade. For us, we get to spend as much time with them as 10 years of Marvel movies to really fast forward them into really very, very clearly defined, very, very human uh, uh, heroes. Yeah, and did did you as a writer did you approach this as um, kind of six episodes, or did you just think, well, I'm going to do a six hour movie in my head, and then yeah. we'll kind of pace it out as we go? What we're most proud of is that we didn't do either. We, I, I feel like storytelling wise, we tried hard to create a hybrid, which is movie storytelling is compressed time and urgent and builds to one event, and you'll see ninety percent of movies movies don't take over place over that much time and kevin said i want each episode to feel like a movie not just as far as uh uh action but as far as the way the storytelling goes but he also wanted the depth that a serialized storytelling does for characters and we had to come up with mechanics that created that urgent feeling for every individual episode but created the breath and and longevity and deep dive that a series does and we were very proud and we worked hard to just figure out how to tell the story yeah absolutely and six episodes is a, a small amount of time but i feel like you've you've knocked it out of the park so far from what i've seen so congratulations uh, glad on you that. dig it yeah <laughs> thanks so much for your time mate appreciate it thank you ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey, you guys. is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice Hey!